Yes guys, what's happening? Uh, thought I could do a video today on uh, making your own tension tool. Uh, part of being a locksmith is being able to make your own tools and stuff. Now, if you've ever come across one of these, they're an absolute fucking nightmare, okay? Uh, you can see that these have got like a, uh, you know, not latch things, but they've got a little slidey plate. You also find these types of uh, security exclusions on uh, front door handles as well. And these little spinning plates are designed to frustrate picking and so on and so forth. Uh, but the hardest part about these is actually getting your tension tool in and getting it to sit in. So I thought I'd share with you today my little homebrew tip, uh, which I found uh, to be highly successful. Uh, so we're going to use it with the EPG because we're here for speed. Okay. Um, so basically, I've got uh, a standard profile, universal profile key. So basically, we'll just call it a Yale key for uh, simplicity's sake, but you know, majority of locks use this profile key. Uh, and we've filed it right down and we're actually going to use it as a tension tool. So if you can see how much we've filed down, right down to the bottom, can you see that? Uh, and also we drill the four mil hole, okay, uh, to apply tension by two. Uh, and if you notice, I've taken a little bit more of the bow away and you'll see why in a second. So the principle is, that we're going to actually make this act like a key, okay? Uh, bearing in mind that lets you have to turn the pick upside down and pick upwards, okay? Uh, so we're talking about real life situations here, not flipping it in the vise. Uh, still got a few modifications to make on it, but yeah, it works a fucking charm. And if you can see that there, it almost looks like a key. Uh, you just need to give enough room for this part to knock up and down. It doesn't do it much because obviously we're going upwards. Uh, we just need, so I probably need to file a little bit more off it, but I'll just show it you in action because uh, trust me, when you come across these in the field, they are an absolute nightmare. Uh, I'm not saying I'm going to get it straight away, but we'll just have a look. So I'm just going to put anything in uh, and we'll have a bash at picking it open. I'm just hoping that you can see that past my hand. In fact, no, you're not going to be able to, are you? So we'll just spin it round a little bit there. Yeah. Should be able to see it there. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, so these spinning plates, they're just proper frustrating. Uh, and the beauty about this is you can push it all the way in and get the tension that you want. And also you can sit your pit gun on top and you know the pit blade is going to be right. So let's just, I mean, look at that. We've already got the lock. Uh, and trust me, these make life hard work trust me really hard work so yeah i'd get yourself sorry about that guys someone rang while i was uh, trying to video <laughs> anyway back to what i was saying uh yeah so cracking little tension tools these to be honest uh because like i just said you know they are a nightmare uh especially sat in a door um it just makes life really hard work and obviously uh, this full thing is designed uh, to prevent you drilling or pulling the lock or whatever uh, so if you can obviously uh, try and pick it so let's just have another little a whirl so you can see that it weren't a one-off uh, I'm gonna have to find myself a form and a little bit of steel to make my life a lot easier let's just uh... there we go so you can see we've got that pretty easy uh, Go on, let's uh, throw another one in just to show it in action. So let's just get that out there. Uh, right. How am I going to load you up? In fact, we'll have to load this one upside down. Uh, so we'll just spin this round a minute. Uh, so this is an ERA one. Okay. So you find, like, uh, you do find British standard versions of these with the same uh, type of. Excuse me, guys. Same type of first plate, so let me just see if you can see that there. Yeah, more or less, can't you? Right, so let's have a bo bush at this. I'm not, obviously, it's upside down, but that's uh, because I had to fit it in the vise. So uh, we're going to pick this the regular way, so picking normal, and let's just see if we can get this one as well. So just get your tip in. There we go. Piece of piss, that one, weren't it? Yeah. Uh, in fact, I've not even tried this on any cylinders. Let's have a bish bash bosh, shall we? Uh, what have we got here? We've just done an ERA. There we are. Uh, what's this? Can you see this? Uh, 
Eurospec MP5 thumb turn and I suppose this will make life easy easier should I say on the thumb turns because obviously as you know you need to activate the cam uh, and you can't do that with a normal uh, in fact that's not going to work is it let's just get you hooked up there can you see that just about just make sure we can turn it yeah uh, what was I saying? Sorry guys, I like to prattle on on my own. Yeah, uh, so on a thumb turn, obviously if you just use a normal pick, uh, you're not going to pick up the cam. Uh, so the plug will turn, but the lock won't. But with this, obviously, we can put that all the way in. It's not going to go all the way in because this is a 5 pin, not a 6 pin, but same difference. It's still the same profile, so let's just have a, a little whirl on this. Can you see that? Yeah. Right, let's get you in. <laughs> Hey, what about that? Yeah, lovely jubbly. And obviously you can see the cam turning. So yeah, many uses for this little uh, gizmo. I only did that because I came across one of them uh, British Standard Night Latches overnight. I did manage to get it open, but I ended up having to fabricate uh, a tension tool there and then on site because uh, the one I had just kept slipping out or it just wouldn't fit. So yeah, you can see what I've done there. Uh, I'm going to make some minor adjustments, probably going to file another mill off top of there that you can see that little shiny bit there uh file a mill off that um take a bit more out of that to allow the in the pick end not the pick end what we're looking what's the word i'm looking for <laughs> this part uh to allow that part to move up and down more freely and i might even um get some pick blades and narrow them down so i think that's about two mil in it oh sorry that's about two mil is it mil maybe uh we'll take it down to about half a mil uh just so we can tackle the high pins or low pins whichever way you want to look at it anyway guys uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed